Scoochie for Jeezy. Back at it. Another reaction. You know what I'm saying? Well, 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 well. Y'all see the goddamn name on the title, man. We got the one and only. We finally got an EVK j interview on a goddamn platform, man. I ain't gonna lie, Adam, you goddamn played, nigga. Me have my niggas waiting for that goddamn interview with goddamn j on goddamn No Jumper. Two to the goddamn low. You got you at goddamn Sean Connor, goddamn Say Cheese beat your ass, you know what I'm saying? He goddamn beat you, you goddamn the interview, you know what I'm saying? Cause you playing, nigga. j was a hot commodity, nigga. You playing a nigga on goddamn interview him. And drop that shit ASAP, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, shout out Sean, Sean Cotton for goddamn interviewing J-Bo. And dropping a full interview in one and not breaking it down, which I know Adam22 from the dude, he's going to probably break it down. Like, you, you, you know how they break it down and then they, they drop like, the full interview like damn near two weeks later after they made like, goddamn a thousand clips, like you know what I'm saying? Real nigga Sean Cotton got give us the full interview, no no clips, you know what I'm saying? Straight interview, so we're going to goddamn tap in and goddamn so I can get a goddamn more and bigger and better understanding of goddamn J-Bo. I'm saying the upbringing, I'm saying what made him goddamn start rapping. I'm saying all the other shit, all the politics that day, I'm saying. So, yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, more content without further ado. Let's get straight to it. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, this year, 45 five minutes, I'm saying. So, I'm gonna probably give y'all like a part one, part two. I'm probably stopping in the middle, I'm saying. Probably stop with like around like 20 ish minutes, 23 ish, 22 ish minutes, you know what I'm saying. And give y'all like a part two, you know what I'm saying. Next, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, let's tap in and see what goddamn Jay, we got the goddamn speak on. Yeah, let's get straight to it. Shout out Sean Kai, man. That nigga Adam is playing, bro. Oh, man, here we go. Finally, finally, man. We we here in L.A. Welcome hey, home, hey, man. Hey, How man, you what's doing? Up? What's up with the name, bro? Brother, talk your shit, bro. Free place. Was... Bro, real nigga, man. Before we start the interview, we finna put the guys that's got them sitting behind that wall and get the, get the goddamn shot, nigga. Yeah, real nigga j Bull, man. Real stand-up nigga, man. I'm on, I'm on freaking Southeast, so family ain't trying to label us as a gang. It's just strictly family, though. True. On my, on, my, on my mama, bro. I'll lay it up, brother. Call me after this interview, though, brother. Yeah, mind you. All right, brother, tomorrow. Right, I just peeped that. That nigga phone was broken. That nigga thugging too hard. He ain't got there had time to get the goddamn phones fixed. I said, my nigga got there living the goddamn, yeah. Live with, he got there living through the goddamn struggle, nigga. Why he got them? I mean, his label just got there rap shit, man. That shit was funny. That nigga yeah, fucking choke years. up, nigga. All right, brother, twine. Like, he ain't got, like, like, he ain't probably up, goddamn, at least a million. I ain't gonna lie, that shit funny as hell. Like, my son got down, true to the goddamn roots, nigga, facts. Like I said, man, finally we here, man. We in L.A. We got EBK j -Bo in the building, man. Finally, after all these years yeah. uh, 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 of watching each other, man. He's down, he's, he finally sat down on the couch and uh, welcome home too, man. Thank you. Sure. How long you been here for? Yeah, I'm just people. So look, y'all check me out. He did this interview and goddamn Adam Twenty Two. Like, yeah, my son got down right back on the goddamn money train. Yeah, getting his goddamn work out the way. Facts, facts. Out on the couch and uh, welcome home too, man. Thank you. How long you been here for? Shit. How long has it been? Like six days, five days? Bro, already knocking shit out on six days, nigga. Yeah, nigga. I'm boy taking the goddamn crap serious, nigga. Yeah. Ain't been that long, bro. That's what I'm saying, like, bro. Friday. He only like, like, two interviews, bro. Cause I'm pretty sure no jumper got him. Cause I'm like, I seen the Dizzle page, bro. The Dizzle, the Dizzle page posted him. I think a day or two. I think I had released going to no jumper, and now he's doing this. He's not the artist, shit. Like uh, less than a week, bro. That shit crazy, bro. My boy doing this thing. Okay, and I mean, how long? How long was you sitting for? <laughs> sure, like it, bro. Uh, shit, I was down for like six months. Sure. Okay. Yeah, and, I mean, what was that like? You know, you having a name. What was that experience like this last time? Shit, it's it's the same every time. You know, you're going to go in there. You're going to run some fags. Yeah, and yeah. eventually you're going to get nigga to like a pot or somewhere where it's cool. Niggas programming in there. You feel me? Probably catch a few fags, but nothing too serious, though. It's just regular. You're chilling in there. It's my son, the data to that bitch. He got the data, nigga. This is what I'm saying. If it's gonna be home, I'm saying this man, we gotta do what you gotta do in this shit. They goddamn survive, nigga. Facts. So the minute you step in, people notice you. Yeah, for sure. As soon as I come in, you know I got Southeast EBK on my neck and shit. So. Oh yeah. As right. soon as I come in, niggas yelling, "Oh, J Bo, oh, what's up yeah. with blood? You feel me? I'm what's up with blood? You feel me? I know niggas in there. How many fades you run this time? Uh, uh, uh. Shit, I'm running like um. I only ran like four this time, four or five. Okay. Oh, Not too bad for six months. Nah, that's, yeah, that's no. calm, nigga. Like, I ain't gonna lie, that's calm. Like, most niggas, bro, they get in that bit. They, they, they catch you while you goddamn sleep, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, nigga. 
you got goddamn 40 goddamn phase one for you got to do 20 before child, 20 after child, nigga. Facts, nigga, like 20 before child, 20 after child, nigga. 40 phase, nigga, straight, nigga, not even breathing, nigga. After you get done him one, nigga, ne man, that shit, I ain't gonna lie, that ain't bad for six months. Time, four or five. Okay. Oh, my not too bad for six months. Yeah, nah, not too bad. And I ran I mean, all those, I ran on nails when I first had got in, too, so. True. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm going to got down, go on, knock that away. I'm saying, we ain't finna be beefing. I'm saying, go on, knock this shit out. So I'm got down, they got down, come through this bitch. I ain't finna got down, looking at my shoulder shit, man. Go on, knock this shit down. Go on, get y'all got down, phase now, nigga. I ain't gonna look. And how does this shit start? Does people just, they just start running their mouth or? I mean, it's like intake, you feel me? Everybody in the rooms and shit. So, you know, the porter will come and tell you, like, who in there or something, or True. you would just get popped out and see it, nigga, like, okay, we gonna get that in. Southeast, yeah. you feel me, nigga? Be like, we go get that in in the corner, or niggas get that in in the cell, and then that be that. You feel me? They do that thing, you do your thing after that. Yeah. And do you win all these fights, or some? Sometimes you don't get your way. I mean, you feel me? You gonna lose some, you gonna win some in the county. You know, I ain't gonna act like I just whoop every nigga, but I don't lose a lot. Southeast. <laughs> True. But you feel me? I don't. <laughs> nigga win said Southeast. I said, yeah, nigga. Y'all know what we do over there, nigga. These niggas know, man. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny, bro, because real shit, bro, I think he wore the same jacket on that out on Belleville. My, my son got down shot of vid. Went to the interview or did the interview with Shot of Vid, bro. Just my boy got down work at the crazy nigga facts. I don't lose a lot. South East. South East, yeah. But you feel me? I don't win every fight, though. Nah. Tight shit, tight shit. Feel me, but... That's real. Most niggas sit on yeah. camera and say they 80 and 0. Yeah, <laughs> nah. Niggas I ain't... kick ass from the moon and back. Nigga, you know goddamn well some niggas had it away with you, nigga. And it's life, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, nigga, like, you're not going to beat everybody ass, bro. Some days, nigga got the one up on you, so now you got one up on a nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? Win some, lose some. As long as you got that little fight next time, nigga, oh, that shit matter the whole time. I don't think it matter. Sit on camera and act like I'm 80 and no and shit. You feel me? I met my match a couple times. I'm trying to show you. I met my, yeah. my match a couple times, though, but niggas gonna know, though. I'm gonna hit a nigga with something he gonna remember. Real South talk. Y'all <laughs> so, yeah, that shot about early, though. I've been watching you for a minute, bro, and, you know, I tried to get an interview with you, like, last year, maybe early this year, but it seems like you're always in and out. Yeah. It, I mean, how many times have you been arrested your whole life? Uh, shit, nigga. I ain't been arrested that many times, bro. How many times? Like six times, five times. Six. You'll say probably like back to back to back to back to back, though. That's probably why you said that. I went to jail a few times, bro. Like six times, bro. Yeah. Like six but times, this bro. this right here has been the longest. Nah, I did two years last time. Damn. Damn. I know that. Uh, yeah, because I, I think, I don't know who I... Nigga, how old is that with y'all? He, he, he did ten. Dang, he did two years. Shit. Talk to. And he was still going up. Damn. But I I don't know. People were saying you were gonna be going for a long time. Nah, fact. I heard that too. Man. Well, uh, it and, was years. And niggas just be talking, bro. Bro, all I got is. Grow your business uh, and reach your people with YouTube ads. Is if you look at my charges, bro, it's just the same charges hella times. I'm really not even down for nothing that's going to get a nigga a hell of time. A nigga going to have to go do some time off of that, though. Feel me? I'm just out on bail. Right. True. Feel me? And, 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 and if you don't mind, what are these charges? Shit, it's just some good charges, nigga. It's some, uh, some gay ass bitch. True. Yeah. It's not even nothing. I'm saying regular shit. Y'all niggas already know. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying y'all niggas under that shit. Too serious, you feel me? That carry hell along. Yeah. It's just I got priors, so they didn't give me bail. But you feel me? As you can see, I got bail now. You feel me? So right. I'm saying, but I'm still fighting. Bail out gang on this time. They got damn bail out nigga facts. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got an air time with that bail. Goddamn, yeah. I'm still fighting my case though. And these these charges are all coming from Stockton. Yeah. So the police, they know you. First name, last name basis. Sure. You yeah. a target for the police, ops, everybody. Yeah, something like that. You feel me? I feel like everybody being shit. black and coming out of Stockton is a target out mm -hmm. there, though. Yeah. You feel me? Not yeah. just because, you feel me? Obviously, because I'm a rapper and shit. So, yeah, but they be on everybody out there, not just me. You feel me? <laughs> 
Man, I hear so much stuff about Stockton. I hear it's boring. I hear it's corrupt. Uh, the gang, the the violence out there is crazy. I mean, you yourself, you're 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 doing your thing with the rap shit, putting up millions of views. Why not leave? L.A. has plenty. Of, I mean, California has plenty of of nice cities to go nah, to. Nah, that is. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't living out there, but like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm definitely going out there sometime. Probably this, this summer, next summer. I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, it's like beautiful out there. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Why not leave? I did leave. You just probably, can't keep coming. Can't like, stop coming back. I came back a few times. Yeah. Feel me, but I don't be out there that much, bro. You know, nigga just end up just being out there at the wrong time and went to jail. Swear mm. shit, bro. That's that how it be, bro. As soon as you go back, bro, it's some next shit, like, bro. Like, like, damn, let's all even come out here, bro. Some next shit always happening, bro. Like, that should be annoying. I ain't gonna lie. I can't even lie to you. Let's start from the beginning, man. Born and raised in Stockton. You know, what was that like growing up? Was it a struggle? Was it cool? It was cool, bro. You feel me? Stockton niggas was playing football and shit when niggas was kids and shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It was 50-50. Niggas had the shit that we need. Niggas wasn't homeless or nothing. True. You feel right. me? But True. everybody go through their different type Ocean of struggle. Downs, yeah. Just like you probably went through a different struggle that I didn't go through. So you feel me? As a kid, I went through my little shit that I went through True. in my little household. But as far as having a home, I always had a roof over my head. Mom sure. dudes did her thing, you feel me? Dog is saying, bro, nigga be trying to like over gloss, like, oh, I ain't never had shit. Nigga, as long as you had a roof of your head and and, and the basic necessities, bro, you was all right, nigga. You, you might not you might not have what you wanted, but you had what you need. So I'm trying to say like you had a roof, shelter, water, you know what I'm saying? Food might not been a food might not have been always there as you wanted, but like when it was time to eat, you know what I'm saying? Mom dudes got damn put food on the table, nigga. Like you had what you wanted. I mean, you had what you need, but you didn't have what you wanted. I'm saying it'd be a difference to that shit. Nigga be trying to go so I ain't never had shit. Got out the mud. Nigga, you had enough shelter, nigga. Niggas be having enough shelter. Nigga be trying to like over gloss that shit for goddamn character development shit. Nigga, no, nigga. You had a yes, shit was bad, but like shit wasn't too terrible, nigga. Like you grew up any other nigga how any other nigga grew up just goddamn different goddamn ways, like he just said, type shit. Or as having a home, I always had a roof over my exactly. head. Mom dudes did her thing, you exactly. feel me? But niggas just, you feel me? Getting out of the shit as niggas get older. True. Yeah, starting to get. I mean, before shit. before the streets, football was your dream. Nah, I just used to play it because I got a lot of sport niggas that do sports in my family too. Bro, that's that, that's really the first way out the hood, bro. The sports, bro. I ain't gonna lie. All the other shit become second. I ain't gonna lie. You know, niggas be seeing niggas on TV, shit like that, all kind of shit. So you feel me? My grandpa, uh, my grandpa Richard, he was on it. Me and my uncles and shit. You feel me? His son, he played football. I'm always at my grandma, so it's like it's inevitable. Nigga gotta play football. True. My mm -hmm. pops used to make me play football hella shit, so. True. I didn't never like that shit, bro. I was fat and shit. Niggas didn't want to run and do all that extra shit, but. Yeah, bro, they all be trying to throw fat niggas in football, bro. Like, I understand it's like a big nigga sport, but like, niggas that they be trying to goddamn find up something other else. Niggas thought they had straight football, like, you know what I'm saying? Like. I played, though. Yo, know, nigga got down and do golf, let him slim down and try to other shit, bro. Niggas throw fat niggas straight football and let him like just say fuck it. Like, that shit funny. Well, how you feel about that too? Why we talking about that? You know, people make jokes about your weight now because you're <laughs> you're bigger than what you were yeah. before. Let's talk about that. Like, does that get to you with people, the comments and things, people talking about your weight? Nah, that shit funny to me, for real. You feel me? I got a good okay. sense of humor. True. I ain't really tripping, cause you feel me? I'm I'm fat now, but it's a lot of things that got Bigger, that's not just. Nigga, I got money. If I want to tell my nigga, call me that you want. Can't call me broke. Fucking niggas talking about. Tripping, can you feel me? I'm, I'm fat now, but it's a lot of things that got bigger. That's not just that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying, what up? Come on, come on now. Call me fat, but call me whatever you want, nigga. You can't call me broke, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Come on. So. That shit funny though. When my when my fans be telling me that shit, I interact with them and shit. Like they calling me fat and shit. Like I'm like that shit hella funny. You feel me? Like. What is it? The what is it? The lean? Uh, nah, nigga just was in the county eating. You feel me? Yeah, for real. Nigga gotta eat. I like being fat though. I salute to all the fat niggas. Shout out to y'all. We rocking <laughs> southeast. Thank you. I ain't tripping. That nigga hell. Hey, that's good because you know a lot of people let that affect their mental. But I, I like how you take that. Yeah, nah, I got good sense of humor. They just jokes. It's different when a nigga getting weird. 
But niggas just making a few fat jokes. I joke with the homies all day, so I'm not finna be tripping off a nigga like, oh, you fat, jumbo, ooh, I. I'm like, nah, nigga, I just joke right back. Like, nigga, fuck your mama. You feel me? Nigga <laughs> said, fuck your mama, nah. Nah, that nigga, hell. Like, nah, nigga, I just joke right back. Like, nigga, fuck your mama. <laughs> you feel me? We joking. <laughs> fuck your mama, that, that's that's a little bit right there, yeah. But I see you say that's a little yeah, that's a little excessive. I ain't gonna lie though, but I see what you saying though. <laughs> we joking, bro. <laughs> so but, but you, are- I tell, he one of the niggas, bro. When you play with him, and, like he don't fuck with you like that. He will take it like a, a step further to let you know, nigga. Like yeah, nigga. Like I don't even rock with you like that. So like cool down for like this shit get left tight shit. Like nigga said, fuck your mama. Like nigga, what nigga? Always been big though. You always been big. Nah, I was guy. hella skinny though. I was big as a kid. Yeah. I grew up and got uh skinny. Okay. Went to the county, got out fat again. I was destined to be fat. My pops fat. I was never supposed to be skinny. <laughs> yeah, he knew this shit was coming tight shit. Just like metal wind tight shit. Pills, smoking weed. Niggas got skinny. Yeah. Fat again. It is what it is. We here. <laughs> so we here. Bloods. You know, that nigga funny speaking hell. about your, your pops, man, I, I seen yeah. a few documentaries about that whole situation. I think on Swap Stories or something like that. Yeah. Nah, facts, y'all. I got a Swap Stories reaction on that tweet, man. Should I go check in, tap in, check that out, you know what I'm saying? Lonely or Pops, you know what I'm saying? Real nigga. And that you, story was sad, too, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Are you, you were 11 years old at the time? Yeah. Man, sorry about that, bro. Real shit, yeah, I'm Southeast. I mean, you, you're really you you're really vocal about it. Uh, yeah, for sure. Did that affect? I mean, do you does that affect you today? Do sometimes you just kind of get emotional thinking about it? Of course. Now I don't get emotional no more. You feel I me? Think about it though. It's a long time ago, bro. I'm 20 now. That's a long time. You feel me? But you feel me? It's a big it's a big transition. You look at pictures. True. At me at eleven, it would pop regular. You know, look at me now, I'm a thug. I crosses and shit on my face. I ain't your baby boy no more. Shit crazy. Niggas on my you know, eyebrow, you feel me? Shit changed, bro. But nigga went through that. Damn, month. that shit crazy. How he just like compared that shit, bro. Like he was like back then, cool pops. He a whole goddamn crosses and shit on the. You know what I'm saying he a whole different nigga now. That shit crazy. Mm-hmm. You know, eyebrow, you feel me? Shit changed, bro, but nigga went through that morning stage so young. I'm so older, so it's like, you feel me? That shit, that shit don't break me. It's just make a nigga, you feel me? Make a nigga stronger. Yeah, but this is stuff that a lot of people know in your city. I mean, I see your dad was yeah, popular. My, pop, my pops was popular. He was that nigga out here. Niggas yeah. know. Yeah, yeah niggas, niggas, niggas from my city know my pops was a boy. Right, and I see, you know, it gets brought up sometimes where... Somebody may be your enemy, or somebody will bring it up, or uh, on IG, and people they they make that they'll turn that into a joke, or yeah. they'll use that as ammo. Yeah, you know, that's yeah, why yeah. I said that. Like people bringing yeah. that up, throwing that back in your face, man. That was your dad. I mean, I just that just would come with it. I can't hurt everybody that speaks on my pops, bro. Yeah. Niggas popping. I got two hundred thousand followers, so. I rest a lot of niggas, bro. You can't got down, can't got down, go get the masses, bro. It's too many of them niggas, man. Too many trolls, all that other shit, bro. You got to just got down. Control you can control. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga's gonna say, oh, blank Rory, blank this, Rory this, Rory that. Yeah. But you- I truly grass fed. Every okay, time, was- bro, it be niggas you never met in real life, bro. Like, if I never met you, like, we ain't never had any, like, words back and forth, bro. You're a fucking fan, nigga. Best food there is. Because dad? that's what you they gave us. Begin beside they said, bro, stay in the fan place, bro. You can't even, you shouldn't even be speaking on shit. You know nothing about it. If you find out via the internet, nigga, if you actually know nobody because you live in the city, bro, don't speak on that, nigga. Return. Sure. Wellness schools are great. Dad? These fans but losing, so are bro. little what changes for the better. Like better internet, sleep. This internet shit gave fans too much goddamn power, bro. Like, I'm saying, like, stay in the fan place, bro. But y'all didn't know that, man. My pops really was knocking shit out. True story. Like, nigga not gonna tell that man nothing. Nigga can't tell me nothing, bro. That's my pops. I'm his son. That man was a dog. You feel me? So fuck, fuck what y'all talking about, bro. That's good. Keep his name lit, bro. I'm, I like it when they do that, bro. My pops name lit, bro. He don't even know these people. He, he's still show you, bro. relevant. Mm. And he ain't even made no music. He ain't made right. Lot, and this bro. whole tragedy came from, was it two teams? They were, they were messing with you or some shit? Nah, no, nah, that don't have nothing to do. To, that don't have nothing to do with me. I was only eleven, bro. You feel me? But I don't know nothing about that. You feel me? Because that's that's okay. a case. 
So, yeah. you feel me? I don't talk that about shit like, like, I don't know nothing about that's the case. He ain't even try to goddamn like, oh, I ain't trying to speak on that. Nigga, I don't know about that's the case, nigga. Fat. That's how y'all niggas just start coming to platform and niggas start trying to goddamn ask questions about shit y'all ain't know about. That's the case. I don't know nothing about that. Straight to it, nigga. Not even finna beat around the bush. That's the case. Move on, nigga. Real shit. I don't know nothing about that, you feel me? Because that's, that's okay. a case. So, you feel me? I don't talk about shit like True. that. Right, yeah, my bad. I, I, it was, I think it was on the... <laughs> nigga, Sean getting carried away into the goddamn story, nigga. Yeah, J-Bo, check that nigga, man. You feel me? I don't talk about shit like that. Right, yeah, my bad. I, I, it was, I think it was on a few documentaries about it or... Yeah, I don't, um, I don't know what happened, you feel me? R.P. Pops, though, you feel me? True shit. But nah, I didn't get robbed or... Nothing ever happened to me, you feel me? I was just young. I was 11. You feel me? Lost my pops, and that's that. That's what it was, right. yeah. But you feel me? I don't know, RP, I don't know nothing about nothing else. Man. You feel me? RP uh, do you, after that whole moment, is that when you jump off the porch? Yeah, up around that time. That type shit. Shit started to get old. That, 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 that's about the reason. Spicy. Like sure. it's just off anger? Nah, not off anger. I'm saying, you, we, we, when you lose a nigga that puts the goddamn teacher had to be a man, bro, that shit is probably out of control, nigga. Just, you feel me? That it was just, it was just regular, you know, thugging niggas didn't, me growing up, niggas just was playing football when niggas was kids, but when niggas got to like 12 years old, like niggas was got into different things, bro. Like, shit. everybody I was going to school got into football, I wasn't into that. I, I was living out south. You feel me? I was on a whole different time than everybody was yeah. on, so it was just inevitable that a nigga was gonna hop off the porch. So I'm not gonna say just because my pops died. Yeah. But that had something to do it with it for part. sure, though. You know I'm saying every little thing played a part into goddamn like, what you do later down the road, even in life in general. I'm saying like that probably played a part, but he probably other shit he was goddamn like, dealing with. They got them add on top of that to make him goddamn do what he do with all this shit. You know what I'm saying. Hmm. That's why a nigga just moved militant. You feel True. me? Nigga lost his pops. True. You feel me? You know how that goes, nigga lost his body, bro. Nigga. Gonna be on what, what, True. What introduced you to that lifestyle? Was it hustling? Was it stealing? Was it... No, I ain't, I ain't hustle. I mean, I stole a few cars, like, yeah. when I was a kid, but I ain't never really wanted to do no stealing, you feel me? Everybody did their little robbing and True. running around and breaking. Like, little hood, like, everybody in the hood got damn dead certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Stole something from the stove. You know what I'm saying? Got in a little car accident, got in a little trouble, you know what I'm saying? That's basic shit in the hood, I ain't gonna lie. You know, stealing, you feel me? Everybody did they little robbing and running around and True. breaking into things and shit, you feel me? Some kid shit, but... True. Nah, I was in, in a little more faster shit. Niggas ain't breaking into no cars or doing that. Niggas trying to yeah. break a skull. <laughs> you were... <laughs> Niggas trying to break a skull, nigga, yeah. With a straight face, nigga, like, yeah, nigga, like... Yeah, on that, nigga, with a straight face, nigga. He's doing that. He's trying to yeah. break a skull. You were rapping at a young... Spaghetti, bleep, bro, like, straight death stand, nigga. I'm trying to break a skull, nigga. Yeah, shit like that, nigga. Yeah, I can have that other shit, nigga. I'm on some next level evil shit, nigga. Yeah, all that, nigga. You see the cross, nigga, yeah. He's trying to yeah. break a skull. Straight face, nigga. You were rapping at a young age, too, though. Yeah, I was rapping like that, like 12. Like I heard in middle school, I got a singing you know, song. I got a singing your, song. Your, my, uh, my pops made kids. me a singing song and shit. Yeah, some of the kids you went to school with, they remember you doing ciphers and all type of stuff in middle school. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is going to happen either way it go. He already had his goddamn destiny goddamn planned out from young type shit. You know what I'm saying? Even pops goddamn is still in it. Goddamn music before he goddamn left. Real shit. Yeah, I used to be like beating on the table and shit and right. rapping and shit, regular shit. Nothing too much. Yo, I gotta get this YouTube Red going, bro. I got YouTube Red, but I don't know why they keep giving y'all these niggas ass, bro. Like, they playing on my top. They playing on my top, bro. These niggas playing on my top. Major, though. I know Cypher, but nigga just be rapping, having fun, you know. True, true. It's freestyling this shit. Yeah, nigga love, rap. nigga love music, bro. True. You feel me, nigga, just rapping. Yeah. Do you consider it stocked in the Bay? Nah, hell no. Nah. We, well, we the Valley. <laughs> stocked in the Valley, brother? Yeah, we the Valley. Okay. So, I mean, you in the streets. Do you still go to school? Do you drop out? I graduated. Graduated. Damn. Yeah, I ain't no dumb nigga. My nigga graduated? 
Hey, that's a, that's a good fit, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Like, I niggas don't even graduate. I nigga graduated. At the, oh, no. With all this shit going on. Yeah. They, bro, that's why you can't judge a book by a cover, bro. I guarantee you, if a lot of niggas didn't know this nigga, bro, they would have never guessed he graduated school, bro. You know what I'm saying? They would have thought he was just another nigga from the hood, dropped out probably middle school, like at least ninth grade high school, and did him out to nothing, goddamn, chose this lifestyle rip. My nigga graduated high school and still goddamn going through the, all this goddamn success he got going on, nigga. Yeah, stop that nigga book by cover, nigga. My son still did his thing. That's some real shit right there. I didn't even know that, nigga. Nigga, I'm surprised too, low key. Like, I'm like, damn, my nigga did his thing. Like, I'm saying, like, that's some real shit right there. I think I graduated, bro. You in the streets. That's bro, y'all dude, bro, y'all even know how many niggas in the hood never graduated school, high school, bro. Like, especially with him with all this situation going on with his father passing, thugging hard in the streets, in out of jail, bro. Nigga did a two year bid, bro. What the fuck, bro? Like Do you still go to school? That's crazy, bro. Do you drop out? I graduated. That nigga graduated, bro. Graduated. Tapping gown, nigga. Yeah, I ain't no dumb nigga. That's crazy. Okay, congrats. Yeah, I graduated, bro. Southeast. Like, you saw, like, saw niggas like, congrats. Like, nigga, that shit is like, yeah. Graduate, so after bro. that, you graduate. What's what's next after that? I graduated in Juvenile Hall, though, bro. Just got it done behind that. Yeah, nigga. You got to understand, on my prime, like my prime age, I was in jail for that's it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm, like, he did two years bed. He still graduated. Nigga, that's still, that's still hard, bro. I don't give a fuck. That's hard. Like, I was out of jail doing a lot of shit. Like, niggas know. You feel me? If niggas know, niggas know. I was out there doing my little thing for the little time that I was out. But I was in and out of juvenile hall for a long time, bro. After my pops died from like 12, I was like like 12 years old to like 14, bro. That's when, you feel me, the, you feel me, we was doing a rap group, the EBK shit. Yeah. And I, was, I was in the field, but I went to jail. I caught a case. Like, no, I was 15. So like from 12 years old to 15, I caught a case at 15 and got out when I was 17. Damn. Then I caught a case when I was 17 and got out when I was, what, 20, 19? Yeah, I was 19. Damn. That nigga was in out that bitch for real. And I just caught another case. And I'm 20 now. You feel me? And all these... Wait, so all, as a teen, when you went to the... Uh... That nigga damn it they had no childhood, bro. That nigga was in juvie goddamn bound these cases that whole time period. Damn. When you went to juvenile as a teen, what were those cases for? Those were gun cases? I mean, what I was, uh... That's that nigga whole childhood, bro. That nigga said from 12 to 15, from 15 to 17, and from 17 to 19, you said, I think? That's his whole childhood, bro. God damn. I went to jail when I was, like, 13 for a Stolo. When I was 13, I went for, like, a Stolo, like, twice, back to back. Mm. Then I went uh for a little weird-ass burglary. When I was, <laughs> you call that shit weird. <laughs> did you get how'd you get caught with the burglary? Some weird shit. Niggas, uh Finger we was on some stupid young shit, bro. Niggas went and did some dumb shit. Like a house, a store? Yeah, a little house, you feel me? Ain't gonna say too much. It was just me. You feel me? I'm gonna do Dolo mission, real shit, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. I got charged with it too. You feel me? I drove off, got pulled over with fake high speed. What did you? Damn, my son was living fast as hell. Sheesh. Oh, got 60 days. That's calm, though. 60 days. You know, uh, living the fast life for real at a young age. Nah, word. Yeah, I was like 13 or something, or 14. Bro, 13, yeah. breaking and entering high speed chase with the cops, nigga. What, nigga? This little nigga was out of the chain, nigga. After that, at 15, I caught a, a 10 on Bloods. When oh, I was 15, man. Caught a 10. So wait, let's go back. When you when you take the cops bro, from the that's hospital, whole new childhood, bro. Like fighting cases, bro. With some real shit, bro. Like after the bur after the burglary, how'd you get caught? You just end up slowing down, getting pulled over. Hell yeah, I pulled it over. Like, bro, I'm going to jail. Bro, I ain't gonna die. We ain't buggy. All this shit. Now y'all me like, I'm like nigga, like once them cops get got down five ten deep, nigga, like. I hear the goddamn car, nigga, and when I, once I start feeling like I got to run through red lights, the goddamn make, nigga, it's over, bro. I'm going to put it bit over, man. Go on, goddamn, stop them cuffs, nigga. You ain't, we ain't finna, I ain't finna drive for my life, nigga. Hell, no, y'all got this. And once I got my number, that shit is over with, nigga. And once I got them, can't beat that first car, y'all goddamn, what's the part behind me? Man, I'll put it bit over. Y'all won. Y'all got it. <laughs> we didn't bug it. Nigga can't really get up out of there. I'm, yeah, like, I'm 14 or something. Yeah. I can't drive. I'm pulling over. Take me to juvenile hall. Facts. Fuck yeah. it. And then you catch an attempt. Yeah, when attempt I was like 15. Crazy, I ain't gonna lie. 
I mean, do you think do you think you're going away for a long time at that at that point? Or nah, I was 15. They couldn't charge me as an adult. Then they got oh. they knew the facts. That's crazy. And so how long do you do then? Like 600 days. I don't know how long that is, but that's how long I did. Like 600 days. Okay. That's like two. That's like almost two years. 600 days. Because it's three. It's like almost two years. Yeah. And at that point, are you taking rap series then? No, not at all. Mm. I was 15. What makes, what makes you start taking rap series when you got out? Shit, man, at that point, you got a story to tell, nigga. I done did all this shit thugged out. Like, nigga, I got a story to tell. Fact, this is going to be the way it went, nigga. You got a story to tell. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Uh, um, I don't really... What you mean by serious? Like, when do you, like, lock in? Like, you know what? I'm going to take this shit serious. Bro, I ain't going to lie to y'all. On part two, I'm going to try to fix this ass, bro. It's crazy, bro. Uh, you, you, I ain't, it ain't never been like a day. I just, my work ethic just make me produce a lot of music. Like, I don't be, I don't set a standard like, oh, I'm going to work this hard. I just do it. Mm. So, and I've been doing the same shit for years. So it's like, I don't know. It's just like, I make a lot of music. Uh, I perfected my craft fake way. So I just made I, think a I never had to take it seriously. Nigga. I just do it, nigga. Like... He just like, shit, if I just do this shit, fuck it, real shit. Music, it was never a point where I'm like, oh, I'm finna do this serious. I just was doing that shit. Like, and it just, it started coming and coming. And now I'm here. Tight shit. I mean, but what was that point to where you was like, you know what? I could change my life doing this shit, though. Like, I'm not stopping. Shit, like a month ago type shit. That nigga said a month ago. No way in hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nigga funny as hell. A month ago with all this success, nigga, that nigga funny as hell, bro. To go? Month ago, for sure. Bro, that's how you know he's really just doing it, bro. Just to like just on somebody. I'm, I'm finna just rap like just cause like I'm saying, like, he wasn't even really like like on this like, I'm finna do this to take care of him. He was just rapping just to do this shit, bro. Like, damn, that's crazy, bro. Look how good he is, bro. Like shit crazy, bro. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> month month ago? Month ago. For sure, Damn. like a month ago, I you didn't realize that putting up all these millions of views, you didn't realize saying, that, bro. Like, nigga, huh? Hell no, nah, bro. Like, he was just doing it, bro. That shit crazy, bro. Feel me, nigga. My life don't revolve around. Like, he probably was humble, like, nigga. Like, nigga, I'm just doing this, like, like this shit ain't none to me, bro. I'm just doing this, do this, bro. Like, I ain't, I ain't finna get too big headed. Like, I just do this shit, cause like, I'm on some rapping shit. I ain't gonna lie. YouTube and shit. You feel me, nigga? Go through real shit, just like you go through real shit. At home, so yes, nigga sir. famous on the outside, so it's not like, oh, I'm I'm popping, bro. No, I'm I'm regular. I'm with the thugs every day, like nigga. I'm my mama regular, son, son. Nigga don't think that I'm really a public figure until I'm in jail, and it's like, damn, I'm really a boy. Well, let me ask you this: in the beginning, uh, I don't want to say the beginning, but grinding for this rap shit. How much money do you think you've invested into your your craft, studio, videos, anything? Like, did you really put any money behind promo, or nah, was it all did. just okay. putting that not shit at, out there? Not at first. Like when I was with Thizzler, I was just doing shit. Like Thizzler was trying to get me right, but like I was so like in a like eighty percent in the field and twenty percent doing music yeah. that I just was doing my own thing. Like, man, I'm recording here and there and there instead of having them give me like real studio sessions like they would have did. But I'm just Damn, doing my shout own. Shout out to this. That's what they trying to got down. But I don't know. I've been knowing they've been trying to get y'all niggas out there, the rappers. But that's crazy. They was doing that behind the scenes, bro. That shit crazy. That's that's good. That's real shit, though. Because I got my own shit going on. So it could have been way better, but I'm just yeah. doing it, shooting here and there. Then I went to jail. And went up still, though, from jail. Like, I'm niggas going up. Like, oh, shit, they still fucking with me. Honestly, I didn't think they were still going to be fucking with me because I kept going to jail, but they rocking. I appreciate it. Southeast. So every time you go to jail, your buzz gets bigger, it seems. That's what it seemed like. That's what it seemed like because I've been in jail, bro. Honestly. That nigga been in jail a lot. He's done like Kevin. Do you feel like you the hottest in Cali right now? Facts. I wouldn't say that. He's not gonna say it, but that nigga is okay. I ain't gonna lie. 
I'm just, you feel me, doing me, bro. I'm in my own lane, making music for, you feel me, people that have been through some real shit in their life. True. I ain't here to uh, put no labels on if I'm the top rapper or, or none of that. Because to be honest, I don't feel like I'm no rapper, nigga. I'm just doing this for my family. And I wish like, he, you can tell, like, he don't really care for the shit. He just do it because, like, you know what I'm saying, he... he he got damn better situation, but like he don't really care to be the goddamn be the best and shit. As long as he got damn feed the family, go home safe, you know what I'm saying? Stay out of these niggas' ways, stay out of the goddamn shit, man. He cool with this shit. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all niggas can have the goddamn rankings, all that shit. It just so happened he happened to be the best. So like, but he don't really care for that shit. You can tell like, he don't really care for that shit. He's gonna goddamn rap and goddamn just do what he do type shit. For my brothers, nigga, and for my son. Facts. You feel me? So I wouldn't say I'm the best in Cali. I'm just I'm J Bo, you feel me? And niggas know. You feel me? Niggas gonna feel that shit. You feel me? Them, them rapper niggas, they could dictate who the best and shit. I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not really a rapper. He don't really care for, like, the whole, like, dynamic to come being a rapper. It just, he happened to rap, and then it's come with this shit. But he's like, nigga, I'm still gonna be me and rap at the same time type shit. I ain't here for the goddamn politics and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me do me, j Bo type shit. Niggas know, you know what I'm saying, type shit. I'm just doing my thing. Type shit. We on YouTube, just doing our, you feel me? We chilling. We're from 2 on 7th Street. We over here with it. I'm from rappers do that thing. It's trying to show y'all. So a month ago, you just started taking it serious. That's that's uh, crazy. It, now, this picture, you locking in on it. Yeah, I'm it, I'm, I'm locking in, though, bro. I'm, I'm woke now, bro. You know, a nigga be so having tunnel vision on one thing, it'd be hard to, like, hold on, I got some motion going on over here. So it took for me to go to jail this time. So really having shit to lose. Up. Like, no, when yeah. I was going to jail when I was 17, nigga ain't had shit to lose. Right. Like, nigga, I got out last time, nigga got bills. I got a son that need me, you feel me? I got real... Responsibilities, facts. Responsibilities facts. now. So then when a nigga go to jail and all that shit just stop, it's like, damn. Hold on, let me take a second and really reevaluate shit and let me think, like, hold on, I'm moving hella weird. And my my brother telling me, my brother Dada, shout out my nigga Dada, he telling me, like, brother, niggas gotta start moving weird or niggas gonna crash and... That's what niggas did, but I'm happy I got a chance to, you feel me, reevaluate that shit. True. You feel me, and move forward. Now you can tell his, his goddamn vision getting clear, man. You can tell us he can nail shit. Hopefully he goddamn be whatever he got going on right now, bro, because sky's the limit for my nigga, man. Work. What does your mom say to, to you, you know, going back in and out of jail? You have a career. Um, you could possibly make millions. You could change everybody's life. What does your mom say? All right, y'all. That's it for the part one, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Give me 10 likes. We're gonna drop the goddamn part two of the goddamn interview. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I'm not going so far. I'm goddamn trying to get a better understanding. I ain't even really Peter the title like that. He goddamn said he's speaking on goddamn finding jail, starting allegedly sleeping with Slow Beast BM. It's crazy. We gotta definitely tap in and see what's that about because I ain't never heard that room before. You know what I'm saying, but yeah. Make sure y'all like, cause got more content. Like I said before, ten likes for goddamn part two, man. I'm gonna goddamn drop the bit. Shouldn't I give me ten likes? I'm saying, but ten likes. Make sure y'all like, cause got more content though. Till next time, it's the one only Jeezy.